I think COVID-19 is a ecological wake-up call that's been waiting to happen, and I'm not happy it has. I'm tragically upset. Since we were birthed as a species, hominid evolution is filled with pandemics. We have evidence, for example, of a pandemic in 13th, 14th century Tibet. Let's not forget the Black Plagues, the 1918 influenza, which took out several of my relatives. Pandemics are not new. What I think is perhaps least discussed right now, and I can understand why, is that this is a tragic distraction, geopolitically and medically, at a national and international level, and an economic level, from what we should be doing to preserve the planet. So every dollar that we're now throwing in emergency funding, which we have to do, we're a humane species, thank God, but that money is not going to save other species. And this is where it really comes down to biodiversity. Can you imagine what's gonna happen if the human population continues unabated, we hit 10 billion people as we wipe out biodiversity, as we encroach upon forests, as we destroy coral reefs, as we destroy the Amazon, the great tropical midriff of the planet from the Congo to Indonesia to West Africa. And as species are being squeezed out, what we're really doing is genetically squeezing out the biodiversity, homogenizing those genes, and creating a breeding ground for the expansion and explosion of new forms of viruses in these future megacities, which will comprise more than 80% of the planet. I think COVID-19 is a ecological wake-up call that's been waiting to happen, and I'm not happy it has. I'm tragically upset that it has happened. But if there's any bright spot in all of this, maybe we will start to come together more rationally, more civilly, more empathetically, and love one another in a way that is more contagious than we could ever hope for in terms of spreading that same love to other species. That, that is my wish.